Hey, what's up everyone? So, I don't know why I always wave with three fingers when I'm just going, but I think I'm trying to make the peace sign, and then I decide I'm gonna wave, so it's like a, a peace wave. Just uh, finished my workout. I was gonna save this vlog till Friday, but I figured why not just do it now, so. This is just a pretty simple uh, Q&A. Uh, oh I'm doing it, but I'm gonna crush that. Wait, where was the, oh, oh here it is. Oh my god, did I just lose it again? No. Okay, here we are. Is there any specific reason you started producing and why do you keep going? Well, um, I started music, I don't even want to say production, in a uh, freshman year of high school. I don't know, it was actually, I was just messing around with my friend, Zachary. You can see him in some of my, like, first videos. We're in his basement, just messing around. They're really bad, though. Really horrible videos. Really low quality. But, um, we were just messing around in GarageBand and with, uh, with iMovie to make the first videos and I started enjoying it so I did I started doing more and more stuff the more I did of it the better I wanted to get at it so that's why I, that's why I did more and improved and then I realized that that's what I wanted to do for a living so now I'm here producing and songwriting at Berkeley what song are you most proud of that you've written I don't think it's my best but um here are some that here are some that stand out okay so man on a ledge was the first original song that I posted onto my YouTube channel I hadn't even started writing songs until like 8th grade. They were just really, really random and like messing around on the keyboard. I didn't really know how naturally it would end up coming to me. Man on the Ledge was the first one that I put on my YouTube channel. I don't know if I'm most proud of it, but I think it's really good lyrically from a rhyme rhythm standpoint. I don't know about the content or imagery, but um, I like that. And the produ I did a reproduce of it, I think two years ago, made it better from the original. But. Uh, yeah, that one, I'm pretty proud of that because it was the first one that I put out onto, into the world. I'm also really proud of The Life of an Insect because that one, that got me to um, a finalist in the Bernard Ebb songwriting competition in the Maryland, DC, Virginia area. So that was a big, that was a big step for me. Yeah, I got to perform that live at the house, not the House of Blues, but that was the Blues and Supper Club, Blues and Jazz Supper Club. So I'm really proud of that one. Uh, I'm really proud of, ugh, I'm really proud of Psychedelics because I was able to put together a good music video for it. It was sort of my first big success of meshing together the bear trap ideas from Black Bear with my own style as a songwriter, even though I don't think it's, I think it's definitely more commercial than what I like to write. Uh, technical difficulties, another big milestone. I'm, I'm spending too much time on this question, but technical difficulties, it's like all of the song, the instrumental, the, the lyrics, it's very me. Yeah, it was just a really good complete project. I'm still really proud of how that one turned out. And bed rest. Bed rest, I'm also really proud of. I play that one all the time. And that sort of started the era of like meshing together EDM with Bear Trap and Eden and singer songwriter into something new. And it's kind of like that bed rest style is kind of what I want to keep writing from this point onwards. You know, I, I keep dabbling in trap, trying to figure out how I want to make that work because I, I like trap and I want to do trap stuff, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, next question. Uh, oh god, this is so... What song are you most proud of that you sung? What video? I feel like I'm obligated to mention the, uh, I don't fucking care drugs mashup because that broke a million views and really helped me out for my channel, but, um, I don't know how proud I am of it. Like, I'm... I just got lucky with it, you know? Like, it's a really good mashup, sure, but, um, it wasn't really that hard to make. Like, I made it in 30 minutes. Because I made that using the original audios, like, I cut stuff up, spliced it around, mixed it together. I'm really proud of the Eden medley. If I had to pick just a like a non-original video, the Eden medley. If you haven't heard it, I'm not gonna put a link. That'll be too much work. It's not that much work. I'll, you 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 just have to search it. It's not that hard. But the I made a medley of uh, eight Eden songs, and it, I think I produced that one really really well. Considering I didn't have stems, I just went from the original audios. Top ten top ten favorite movies. I'll do. I'll just do some movies that I like. I like Crazy Stupid Love. I really liked Thor Ragnarok. Deadpool. I love Deadpool. I'm, I'm a sucker for Marvel. Not that I don't like DC. I really love DC Comics. I think the movies haven't caught up to Marvel in terms of production level and storylines and everything. When I see Infinity War, that'll be like my favorite movie. I remember really liking the Lego movie. I was like, because I was a big Lego guy back in the day, but I really loved the Lego movie. Catch Me If You Can, Leonardo DiCaprio. That's a good movie. I like that movie a lot. Um, yeah, nothing else is coming to mind right now, but that's a, that's a good amount. Biggest role model for my music. Yeah, it's gotta be. So here's how sort of how I went in terms of influences. So 
I started really getting into 21 Pilots at around the same sort of time that I started doing my channel, and they also gave me my first big spike in views and fans from 21 Pilots fans. So, um, they were my inspiration for a while. I started moving into Panic at the Disco, sort of, at least vocally, because I got, had a big Panic at the Disco phase. And then, uh, right now, it's Eden and Black Bear, probably, that influenced me the most. Advice for someone who wants to make music but doesn't know where to start. You just have to start. Get a... Do you want to start producing? I'm assuming you mean, like, putting together, like, full production songs, like MP3s and stuff. Uh, get GarageBand. Mess around with GarageBand. It's a super intuitive program. It's really easy to mess around with and, and learn. Yeah, get, if you have a PC, I guess FL is a good one. FL is kind of weird for me to figure out because I'm so used to the GarageBand logic kind of DAW view, and FL is a little different, but it's also a really good DAW. Yeah, if you know, if you play an instrument already, you can record that into GarageBand. Just mess with your mess with your loops and your cadences and everything. And if you don't, then just bring up the MIDI keyboard, I mean the on-screen keyboard in GarageBand, play, play some notes, see what you like, see what you don't like, and just start improving. Once you start somewhere, you've done the hard part. After that, you just have to keep doing it and getting better. You, you can look at my, my videos as an example. Like, my first videos are not good. I'll, I'll just say that, they're not good. And then, like, like, I had a musical, I always had kind of a musical vibe, but production-wise, they were not good, and I slowly improved slowly improved over like three years and then the last year and a half I've improved a lot just because I finally started figuring out what I was doing and how I needed to improve. Star Wars or Star Trek? Gotta say Star Wars. I'm just, I just never got that into Star Trek. I like them both, but like, I know more about Star Wars. I remember reading like the Star Wars books, like the old storylines, like before, before Luke, before Obi-Wan Kenobi and everything, like the original Jedi Order. I thought that was really cool. This was in like third grade or something, I read those. Um, which is better, the book or the movie for anything? I think the book is usually better. Well, for me at least, because I think it's most accurate and it's hard to capture all of the emotion and storyline of a book in a movie, because it has to be shorter. But when a movie does it well, then I'd prefer to watch... When a movie does it perfectly, I'd prefer to watch the movie, because it's nice to just see it in visual. But most of the time, it's not as good as the book, which is why, you know, I lean book. Uh, if I was an animal, what would I be? My brother says I would be a giant clam. He says I sit around and let food wander into my mouth. What would I be? I had an- I used to have an answer for this. I don't really remember it anymore. Oh, wait. I have to be a minnow. I'm M Shark, aka Asian minnow. So I have to be a minnow. Or a giant clam. Either way, I'm a sea creature. I love seafood. Not that I'd eat myself. Next question. Favorite YouTubers? Jeez, let me bring up my subscription feed. Uh, yeah, I know I should have answered this off the top of my head, but I don't. Oh god. I have a lot of subscriptions. Um, a lot of music subscriptions, a lot of just- I think you can see all my subscriptions on my channel. But, um... I really like Bill Wirtz. I don't watch his stuff that much, I think it- I think his stuff is really funny. Chase Holfelder is cool. I like Darkman. I watch a lot of League videos. I watch a lot of Worth It from BuzzFeed, but I don't watch any other BuzzFeed, I just watch Worth It. I'm trying to think of non-music, because Gus Johnson, really funny, really funny. He makes short videos. I think Isocene is really cool. I think he makes the best mashups on YouTube, Isocene. I used to be a huge fan of Kurt Hugo Schneider. I still like his stuff, but I just don't watch it as much anymore. Covers don't interest me as much, I don't click them as often. I guess because I'm so busy doing my own stuff. I just watch the originals and then go from there. Leroy Sanchez, really talented singer. Okay, I'll find one more like legitimate YouTuber. Oh, Paint! Paint is awesome. Okay, I'll do one more. It's his music. Rumi! I love Rumi. Okay, he's also music, but... Wait, I need to go... Wait, I need to go get food. The calf closes in 40 minutes. I'll find one more and then I'll finish this after I eat. It's almost every- Oh, you suck at cooking! You suck at cooking is great. Alright, and now I will resume this after I eat. Peace. Oh, I did it again! The three finger- It's not even facing the right way this time. Maybe I should just start going like, peace. That looks so much better. Okay. I almost did it again. Goodbye. I'm gonna be back in like a second anyway, cause movie magic, whatever. Alright, 
back for part two. Alright, actually I'm almost done. Uh, after favorite YouTubers, what was the hardest moment you passed through your career? The most difficult for me was probably the transition to being more of a full-time YouTuber. Because when I first started, my first year, my videos were probably like one video every every like four months average, something like that. Like I really wasn't that interested in it. I don't really remember because it was so long ago, but I remember there being this point when I was just like, alright, I'm going to do like three videos a week. And I'm just going to keep that going. And I did that for like a year. And these days I either do like, I just do stuff all the time so I post videos like probably an average of like a video a day but not not quite that often anymore like maybe every other day but I'm trying to keep quality now so and I guess another challenging point was um, a few months ago when I was really trying to decide what I wanted my sound to be and I was really concerned because I didn't know where I wanted to go as an original artist what direction I wanted to go and how marketable did I want to be all that stuff but yeah, I've just come to peace with the fact that I'm just gonna make my original music, do my best to make it honest, keep it honest, yeah. And that was actually our last question, so we're good, I'll edit this together. Oh my god, I did it again. It's weird this time. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I do that, it's so natural. Anyway, see ya. Until next time, and I'll, here's a preview to a new original at the end. Maybe I could write a love song. For you and me And if it could show us where our love's gone We could set it free Tell me the reason I stay Why am I leaving today And if I could write a love song I hope we'd be okay Be up in your business. I know you're busy with your bitches. I know you're busy with your new man. I see a 2020 vision.